Big news from Google. They have just launched a brand new programming language called Mangle. And trust me, it's something that could completely change how developers work with databases. So in this video, we're going to break it all down for you. What exactly Mangle is, how it's cool and unique features, how it's different from other programming languages out there, and why it actually matters for anyone working with data or tech. So stick around because by the end, you will understand why everyone's talking about Mango and why it could be a game changer. Okay, let's start by understanding what Mangle actually is. In simple words, Mangle is a programming language made by Google specifically for working with databases. But it's not just any database language, it's designed for something called deductive database programming. Don't worry, that just means it's really good at finding answers from complex data by reasoning through it. Almost like thinking step by step. Mangle is built on top of Datalog, which is a well-known logic programming language. But Google has made it much more powerful by adding features that make it easier to handle big and complicated datasets. And just so you know, Google officially launched Mangle on August 22, 2025. The main goal, Google wants to make it way easier and faster for developers to ask questions, analyze, and reason over complex datasets without writing tons of complicated code. So basically, it's about making data smarter and simple to work with. Now let's talk about what makes Mangle so powerful. Well, Mangle is built on top of Datalog, which is already a powerful language for working with logical queries and databases. Datalog lets you ask questions of your data in a very structured way, but it has its limits when datasets get large or complicated. Mangle takes that foundation and make it much stronger by adding features that help developers handle more complex problems without writing endless lines of code. One of the coolest things about Mangle is its aggregation support. This means you can easily calculate things like sums, averages, and counts directly within your queries. For example, if a company has a user data spread across multiple databases and you want to find the total number of users, Mangle lets you do that in one query without manually combining the data. It saves time and makes the process much more efficient. Another important feature is the ability to include function calls inside your queries. This allows developers to run custom calculations or logic right in the middle of fetching data. So if you need to perform special operations like converting values or applying business rules, Mangle handles it seamlessly, keeping everything in one place. Mangle also provides optional type checking, which acts like a safety net to ensure your data is consistent and correct. If you want to make sure numbers, dates, and text are all in the right format, Mangle can check that automatically. But if you prefer more flexibility, you can skip this step, giving you control over how strict the system should be. One of the most powerful aspects of Mangle is its support for recursive rules. This means queries can refer to themselves which is incredibly useful for tasks like tracking paths in a network or analyzing hierarchies, such as an organization chart or a social network. Combined with its ability to query multiple databases consistently, Mangle makes it easier to work across different sources of data without worrying about compatibility issues. Finally, Mangle is designed for complex analysis and reasoning. It can handle sophisticated tasks like understanding relationships in complex knowledge systems also known as ontologies, and performing in-depth data analysis that combines different datasets. This makes Mangle a very versatile AI tool, allowing developers to solve problems that would otherwise require multiple programs or complicated coding logic. Now that we have seen what Mangle can do and its main features, let's take a closer look at what really makes it stand out compared to other programming and query languages that developers are already familiar with. Take SQL for example. SQL is great for asking questions from a database, but when you need to do complex reasoning or work with very large and interconnected datasets, it becomes harder to manage and less expressive. On the other hand, developers often turn to Python with libraries to handle advanced data tasks. Python is flexible and powerful, but it's not a declarative language, which means you often have to write a lot of code to tell the program how to do something rather than just what you want. Mangle changes the game by being declarative, recursive, and highly flexible, all in one package. 
you can express complex queries simply include recursive logic and even perform aggregation right inside the language it also allows seamless integration with different data sets without extra work essentially Mangle lets you do advanced data reasoning without getting lost in complicated code, making it a smarter and faster way to handle complex data tasks. Now that we know what makes Mangle different and powerful, let's see where it can actually be used in the real world. Understanding its applications will help you see why it's such an important tool for developers and data experts. One of its biggest strengths is data integration. Many companies have data scattered across multiple databases or systems, right? And bringing it all together for analysis can be a huge headache. Mangel makes this easy by allowing developers to query multiple sources in a consistent and straightforward way. Another area where Mangel excels is graph analysis. Graphs are structures that store relationships between things, right? Like social network or organizational hierarchies. Thanks to Mangle's support for recursive rules, it can efficiently handle queries that need to explore these complex connections. Mangle is also great for ontology reasoning, which is about understanding and working with relationships in complex knowledge systems. This is particularly useful in AI and data modeling, where you need to reason about how different pieces of information relate to each other, okay? So finally, Mangle can handle complex data analysis that involves uh, aggregation, custom function calls, and combining information from multiple sources. This makes it a perfect choice for industries like finance, technology, uh, research and AI systems where datasets are often large, varied and highly interconnected. In short, Mangle provides developers with a smart and flexible way to solve real-world data problems, making advanced analysis simpler, faster and more reliable. Now that we have seen what Mangle can do and how it's used, you might be wondering, okay, how can I actually start using it? Let's break that down. Getting started with Mangle is simpler than you might think. Google has made it available as an open source project on GitHub, which means anyone can access it for free. You can check out the repository here. Inside the repository, you will find everything you need to start exploring Mangle. This includes the source code, which shows how Mangle works under the hood, examples that demonstrate how to write queries, and detailed documentation to guide you step by step. Uh, for beginners, a great way to start is by experimenting with sample queries, try asking uh, questions from small datasets, play with aggregation functions, or even combine data from multiple sources to see how Mangle handles it. As you get comfortable, you can gradually move to more complex datasets and advanced queries. So if you found this video helpful and want to explore Mangle yourself, make sure to check out the GitHub repository in the description. Uh, that's where you can get the code, examples, and documentation to start experimenting. Also, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future updates. And I would love to hear from you. Comment below and let me know what you think about Mangle or how you might use it in your project. With Mangle, Google is giving developers a powerful new way to work with complex data and exploring it now could really give you an edge in your coding and data projects. So go ahead, dive in, experiment and see what you can create.